in this game, instead of Olimar, who was the main character in the previous Pikmin titles, there are three new main characters. Their names are Alf, Brittany, and the captain, Charlie. They are from planet Koppai, which is facing its doomsday due to a lack of food. They set out on their adventure in search of food that can be returned to Koppai. Due to an accident while traveling, they crash land and encounter mysterious creatures called Pikmin. With their help, the three travelers start exploring. Their mission is to collect fruit that can be their new food resource while exploring the planet with the goal of bringing the seeds back to their home. As the explorers found from their preliminary research, there were various kinds of fruit there, but it was much larger than expected. They decided to use the Pikmin's help to carry the fruit back to the spaceship. After extracting the seeds, fruit can be converted to juice and can act as a food for the player characters as they explore the planet. If they don't have enough food, they can continue their exploration. They must use the limit time of each day to explore for fruit. Night on the planet is dangerous, so you can only explore from dawn to dusk. During this time, it is important to use the different color Pikmin skill. Players can divide activities among the different characters and explore separate areas with different groups of Pikmin in order to progress with their exploration. Once you get the hang of it, you can complete tasks within a shorter time frame. Also, if you make mistakes while you play, you can replay the day or revert to an earlier section of the game. The fun of starting over is that you can tap into what you learned from your last play session to more efficiently complete tasks. In the first Pikmin game, the player had to start over again and again to figure out the most efficient way to complete the exploration of the planet in a limited time. But in this game, there is no big limitation in terms of the days. So it is more accessible for those that have not played previous Pikmin games. At the same time, experienced players can enjoy the game deeply because the more you play, you get better with the new Pikmin and new courses. And this is another one of your assets in surviving the adventure. In Pikmin 3, the gamepad becomes a handy information terminal called the cop pad. As you can see, the area you have currently explored is shown on the map. You can see where the Pikmin and player characters are located. Also, by scrolling the screen with your finger, you can see the details of each area on the TV screen. Additionally, if you scroll the map while selecting one of the player characters like this, you can move them to a specific location automatically. With the cup pad, you can view the overall map and graph what each character and Pikmin are doing on their assigned tasks. 
At the end of the day, you can see the replay of the entire day. Fast forwarding and rewinding replay footage to review a day and the number of remaining Pikmin is a part of your strategy to get ready for the next day. I'd like to share some information on the game's control as well. We are preparing a few types of game controls that players can choose from. Play control using the gamepad is similar to playing the previous Pikmin games on the GameCube. The game is also compatible with the Wii U Pro Controller. If you have played Pikmin 2 for Wii, you know that the Wii Remote and Nunchak Control scheme makes it easy and intuitive to decide where you want to use Pikmin. With Wii Remote Plus, these controls have become more comfortable. We are mainly focusing on this control scheme today. Also, you can enjoy the full game without the TV by just using the gamepad. You can also play the game with Wii Remote and Nunchak using the gamepad as a monitor. With the help of Pikmin and the Coppad, can Alf, Brittany, and Charlie save their home planet, Coppai? Today, I shared updates on the game's story mode. But another time, we will be able to share more on challenge mode and the game's multiplayer modes. Pikmin 3 launches on August 4th. 